And now, Fox News Storytime with Jesse Waters. It's the real life Gambinos or the Sopranos on TV. The motto is the same. What happens in the family stays in the family. The Trump family, boy, I tell you what, that's true. And if you're the Biden family, you don't get to spend 50 years running the game without keeping it all in the family. But last night, we learned the Bidens may have been compromised. As investigative reporter Paul Sperry broke to us that the Biden family has been under federal surveillance for years. It, it's, it's a conspiracy. It has it all. Another uh, Chinese partner of his, a guy named Patrick Ho, uh, his office uh, for CEFSI was raided, uh, we learned recently, uh, from some law enforcement documents, was actually raided. Law enforcement documents couldn't be more vague. The feds actually put uh, the Chinese partners under a FISA surveillance. Uh, and at the same time, they were monitoring uh, the, the Biden's communications with uh, those Chinese partners. So the Bidens are all over FBI wiretaps, talking to China. All over the wiretaps. My gosh, this says everything. The FBI was investigating Patrick Ho. A Chinese bag man who eventually got popped for bribing African leaders and helping Iran evade sanctions. Real nice guy. So what does Ho have to do with the Biden family? Well, Ho was the VP for the Chinese energy company that was getting the Bidens rich. So now it's a Chinese energy company. I thought it was Ukraine. Gosh, it's hard to keep up with these people. But Ho was also a spy. And Hunter knew he was a spy. Hunter's on tape calling Ho the effing spy chief of China. Ho handed Hunter and Jimmy the Chin. Jimmy the Chin. Millions in dirty Chinese money. Consulting fees is what they call that. Hunter and the Chin were bribed. Hunter and the Chin. With Chinese consulting fees. The FBI knew Ho was an intelligence agent, and they were listening to his phone calls. And the FBI finally picked him up at JFK, slapped the cuffs on him, and booked him right here in Manhattan. So Ho gets his one phone call. And of all people, Ho calls the chin, and the chin calls Hunter. Thank God no one in Trump's organization was ever bribed with Chinese or Russian money. And Hunter picks up the phone, and Ho asks him to be his lawyer. How much, says Hunter. A million bucks, says Ho. This is all made-up bullshit. He's got no proof and doesn't even offer proof of any of this. Deal, says Hunter. All you get is Jesse's dumbass head staring at the camera. Much like mine. So Hunter's representing Ho, the effing spy chief of China and the FBI knew it. Ho even had joint bank accounts with China. Much like the joint Chinese bank account that Trump had where he got $16 million from his Chinese bank account in 2018 while he was president? Ah, never mind. And the FBI knew that too. The FBI even raided Ho's office, got his phones, got his computers, documents. At this point, they didn't even need Hunter's laptop. I'm worried about you. They had Ho wired, and Hunter and the Biden family were wired in. It was a $6 million relationship. $6 million relationship. No proof whatsoever. Doesn't even offer it. At least. I mean, there could be more. They're hiding it. But did the FBI give a defensive briefing to the Bidens? Hey, guys, you might want to watch out for Ho and the CEFC. These guys are no good. These guys are spies and might want to take down our country. No. Of course not. It makes perfect sense. The FBI just watched. The FBI watched, and they listened. As Hunter got bribed with Diamond. Who knows? Slept with Jackie Bao. Set up phone calls with Joe Biden to cut gas deals. So if they didn't get a defensive briefing, what was the FBI doing for the last couple years? I wonder what the FBI was up to. The spy chief of China was in bed with the Bidens, and the FBI knew it the whole time. The diamonds, the gas deals, the text messages, the wire transfers. So when the computer repair shop guy, remember him with the hat, handed the feds the laptop, the feds said, yeah, we know. Why? But they still lied. When the New York Post exposed the laptop, the intelligence community called the October surprise Russia disinformation. Rough. So why would they do that if they knew it was real? Well, obviously they wanted Trump out of office. He fingered him for Spygate and the Russia hoax and was breathing down their necks. Plus, he was tough on China and the border. Corporate America had seen enough. They've always been against corporate America. 
So the FBI and the CIA wanted a compromised president in the White House. They had a game plan. Either these people were working for Biden or one of the Bidens was working for them. Was Hunter working for the FBI the whole time? Was he? Was Hunter feeding the CIA intel when he was off in Romania, Kazakhstan, and Ukraine? And did the whole secret Chinese op just get exposed by Fox News with their cutting edge reporting? Was he just a little doggy biscuit for the bureau to lure in the Chinese? Did Jesse Waters just pull all this from his ass? Was Hunter an asset? Or did Fox News just fuck up the very best CIA agent of all time with the best cover ever? The son of the vice president and then later the president. Way to go, Fox. You're on it. If he is, this is a fuck up. And did Hunter even know he was an asset? That's right, Jesse. It's like the born identity. Certainly makes sense. Trump got impeached the second he started zeroing in on the Biden family corruption in Ukraine. Like a hawk. Makes sense that the intel community covered up the laptop before the election. Completely covered up, except for the Fox News coverage that's been wall to wall for five years. That would explain why Hunter hasn't been indicted yet. And why the charges we hear are coming are just, you know, tax related. The pay for plays off limits we're hearing. That's why Treasury is hiding the suspicious wires. That's why Jesse has no credibility whatsoever. Is the classified document scandal how the story ends? Boy, you wish. Did Sloppy Joe just derail the whole operation? Or did you fucking idiots just disclose the best cover in the history of the CIA? Or is the FBI shutting the operation down? No answers, just made up stupid questions with absolutely no facts to back it up and no sources whatsoever. And what's going on at the Justice Department? Just this guy's talking head. So what the heck was in these documents? What was in Trump's that he owned? I was curious about that, too. They spread out the Trump docs and took pictures of them, remember? All over that nice rug, leaked them on TV. Selling out America, the corruption, the bribes, that's nothing. But this whole thing shuts down over a few pieces of paper? Something doesn't add up. Never offer any facts, never offer anything to support it. Just typical made up bullshit. This is how Fox does. And Jesse Waters, you're one of the best, buddy. You're on your way up. These people are a clown show. But it's fun to watch. I'm Zachariah, Lone Star Liberal. Y'all take it easy.